a little while ago, someone's asked me what kind of parmigan are you getting? And today I get mostly rock parmigan. Get some willow, but mostly rock. And this here's a rock one, and you see, like, got a little small feet on them too, you know? They're more up on the barren land, harder. You know, they don't need so big as snowshoes on them <laughs> as the willow parmigan. And these tree here, uh, I'm also going to show you too, like down around the legs, you don't have the, you don't have to pluck the feathers, you know, you can just, just haul them off, look. Oh, just see down the, on the drumsticks you would call them. Huh. But uh, these tree here makes 15. Yeah, and, and I know where the bunch pitched again, they're just up on that bank right there, so. As I'm picking these, they'll coiting down there, and hopefully we'll get another two or three like that. And I just stopped the camera. I said, "Now, hope you don't walk too far. It'd be too hard to find." But I can actually at least see two right there now. <laughs> so, so that's where I'm going to be hit it very soon. Oh yeah, got a few that time. Well, these four uh, makes 21. And just look at that shot there, on top of the head. So I'm going to kick those off. And oh man, it's getting nice now. And I can get back on my other track two to one. So I haven't got a backtrack. So, so everything is working out real good. Slow start, but man, great finish. Well, those two there makes 23. Uh, Normally now I would start working my way back here true, but uh, I'm kind of looking for a porcupine as well. So I'm going to have another look around, and uh, and if it runs across the other two parmigan, well, I'll take them, you know? I'm not just going around looking for parmigan. I'm, now I'm looking for porcupine, and if I see a couple more parmigan, I'll take them to, to finish off my daily limit of 25. Uh, I got two here. I thought three come over this way, and I don't know. Sometimes they can hide away pretty good. It could be... Just uh, working my way out through, trimming around Drogues Woods and stuff. No fresh porcupine cuttings, but uh, I'll keep looking and working my way out through, and uh, I'll trim around uh, around the bottom of Mulligan somewhere probably. I only need two more parmigan to make up 25, so, so that's what I'm at. Just working my way out through here now. I've got my snowshoes on. Give <laughs> me a piece of thing. Look at that. That one there makes 24. That's a willow parmigan there. Look how much, how much bigger the feet is. Much bigger bird too, much heavier. You can see an otter been going back and forth here quite a bit and been going down to this pool. Well, here the mulligan. I'm gonna have a little fish. Got one hook right there, and I got a couple of barbers here over right here. There's a couple of ladies fishing when I come here. They had a few trout there, but they never had anyone lately. But I'm using the same holes. Yeah, 
on the uh, well, the lines go tight, I guess there's something on. And if you have that snow shoe down through the hole, well, you can go on. <laughs> the trout ain't biting, so I said I'll clean up a, a few here now while I'm waiting for the, for the trout uh, to hit on. You see, you got the wings right there, the liver, hearts, and gizzards. And you know, uh, might look kind of, <laughs> you'll look a lot better too now once you put them in the water and just picks off the rest of those little feathers and that. But, uh, but anyway, do a bit now uh, while I'm waiting for for the trout to, to come along. Have a little. Right there. Give her a little try. Give her a little try here. Well, to be honest with you, I don't care if I get your trout now or not because I got uh, 24 from their gutted. That's the wings, uh, the liver, gizzards, and 23 hearts. I must have a heart lift up in the cavity one there. And uh, the little fella is going to enjoy that. He loves permican hearts. So that's good like that, you know, because uh, they're all cold down good now. So I'm going to put them in the bag and. Uh, take them back like that and then I'll put them in the sink and water them soak overnight and pick off the rest of the feathers and clean them up you know but uh, that's perfect they're cold down real nice now and, uh, and I won't have to bother with that once it gets back so uh, I'm well ahead I think uh, I deserve a beer you know after I get back I'm gonna have one and uh, but first I'm gonna put this away and hopefully hopefully I do pick up a meal of trout but if I don't you know, uh, well, you know, that's a, that's a fine meal in itself if you want it to. You know, a lot of people throw all that away, but, uh, you know, 24 birds with uh, the hearts, gizzards, livers, and wings is a fine meal there for sure. And so that's great. Like I said, I'm clean. Haven't got to do it when I get back. And uh, the birds cold down good. And uh, also even uh, even a little bit of less weight back here too. So, so it's a lot of advantages for sure. Well guys, just finished cleaning up the parmy gun. And Fred, yeah, from Catalina. Troy, you might you might know him or or whatnot, but uh no, hollow five trout, real quick. <laughs> no time. These big ones are too, eh? Well guys, I tell you the truth. I got it me. One of me trout, and I washed it, and I lost it down through the hole. And I only got four. And show you this. You look at the color of these. Oh, look at that. Every one of like. Well, old Fred was fishing here, and he said the holes got to go that way a little further. And by the jumping, I think he was right. <laughs> nice trout, though. Starting to chill, chill off a bit now. Yeah. What do you do? No, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm soon gonna go, and I'm glad I stayed a bit longer because just look what I just hauled up there. Whoa, what a trout! Beautiful mulligan trout. Look at that. You're gonna hit the hot grease tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you got a couple nice ones there as well. Beautiful evening. Too nice to leave just yet. Well, just hollow up another tree real quick. Look at that. <laughs> what a fish. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, lovely evening, but time for me to hit her back. Just look at that. Fantastic, fantastic day permigan hunting, and I got a few trout for a damn good bonus. <laughs> there you go. Nice chatting. I'm gonna hit her back now. Yeah. Well, well. Look at this. What an evening. Look, what a view of the Muley Mountains. Not sure how well it's gonna show up in this camera, but heading back there now. Had a had a fantastic day. A 24 permigan, one shy of the limit, 25, and. Might get he yet. 
And I got a few fish. A wonderful chat and stuff there, and nice ride on snowmobile. And gosh, done a lot of bit of exploring and whatever, you know. I really enjoyed it. When I guess back, I'm telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop the top of a bear. Yeah, I got the birds, got the birds all gutted and stuff. So I'm gonna worry about that. I'm gonna let them soak the water overnight, and I'm gonna pick the rest of the feathers off tomorrow morning. So, so I'm well away. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. Keep mucking that way, and uh, I guess that's it for this one. Uh, so, really appreciate y'all watching, and hope to see you all in the next one.